Hello, welcome to the video. I'm going to be testing Days Gone on my 4090. I'm going to be doing it at 4K, so we've got that set here. Um, it doesn't have any DLSS or FSR, but we do have render scale, so we've currently got it native, so it's at 100%. We could maybe a bit later on check, uh, check it at like 67% or something to try and mimic what DLSS quality would be rendering at. Uh, aside from that, graphics-wise, we've got everything very high or high, so we've got that set here. Kind of basic settings, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. Have I got a flashlight? Oh my god, it's so dark. Run. Oh my god, that is too many. Oh my god, that is way too many. Look at it. I was not expecting that many. Oh my god. That is definitely a horde. Do I get out and try and shoot some of them? Alright, that's too many. Oh, I've screwed it. Oh, oh my god. Right, so we'll have a little look around here. Looks like we're, we're getting about 150 FPS. I think I recall before when I streamed this game, it did get a bit of stuttering here and there and stuff and the odd crash, so we'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes. Play for a little bit. Just thought it'd be cool to do, do a little video on it as well. And this snow looks good as well. The graphics on this game, I think, always just looks so good. I really hope they'll do a Days Gone 2. I know, I think it got scrapped, but maybe one day we'll get it. Got it. Okay, here we go. Another bounty. Uh, looks like it's using as well. It's quite heavy on my GPU power wise, using about 400 watts. So it's quite high. Higher than the kind of average of 350 normally. All right, so I have a little drive around. It seems to be holding at least 90... Yeah, I mean, we're at 97% GPU usage. Most of the time, 99%, so pretty much maxed out there. VRAM as well doesn't really look too bad. It's actually very low. Seven, just over 7 gigs. Probably maybe going to creep hey, up a little in. bit the longer we play, but... See if we can try and fight a horde and stuff. See what it plays like when, we've, uh, when we encounter something like that. I do remember, actually, I think, yeah, so... This game seems to stutter loads as soon as you get on the motorbike and drive around. So we noticed that there, so the lows have come down to we've got a 0.1% of 37, so I remember that happening. Now it seems like there's some enemies somewhere here. Yep. That silencer is an absolute lifesaver. Oh my god. Because if I was shooting the other gun, didn't I have an LMG? I thought I had an LMG. Maybe I lost it. Now we've got something on the radar up here, pushing up to 170. So it seems like when you get on the bike, the FPS dips a little bit and then the it stutters as well. As soon as you get off the bike, the frame rates kind of back up again. Should we get that? And then the lows, the, the, the lows though, still not that great, 45. Now I'm not sure what happened, but there's no red on the radar anymore. Maybe that was it there. But yeah, it seems like it holds that kind of 150. Oh, I want that baseball bat. And even on my CPU as well, it's not too demanding. About just over 10%. It's pretty normal for 4K. 
Just keep having a little drive around. Obviously, still going to get that stuttering on the motorbike, it seems, when we're riding around. I do have an issue on this game that it seems to crash a lot for me when I have my CPU set to a... Um, set of 5.7 clock. We're at like a 5... What, we're at 5.686, basically 5.7. Um, but it seems to crash loads for me doing that. I don't know quite know why. I know I had this issue with Unreal Engine. Finally. It seemed to crash a lot for me in Unreal Engine 5 a lot of time when I have that set like that as well. Uh, this is obviously Unreal Engine 4, so... Maybe similar issue there, but it can be fine for a while. I had it on when I was streaming as well, I think. I'll see how it goes. Maybe I just have to put it to like a 5.6 instead, maybe. Dipping down here a little bit. So we get a range of kind of 120 to 100... Almost 170 at most, I think I saw. 167, 168. I think it's the kind of most frames. And I did notice before a little bit of ghosting on the bike as well. Sometimes. Seems like when you're moving quite fast, especially on the snow, when there's snow on the road. Oh my goodness, this don't look good. Camp. Bunch of murderers and thieves, and I can't let any of them escape. Oh, they've seen me. Um, I'm not sure I'm prepared for this. They've all got like machine guns. Sniper. There's only, well, there's 13 of them. Might be able to do it. I'm not very good at sneaking around. I can hear him. There we go. What'd you find? Yeah, look. Silence is gone. You think now, huh? Get back. How do you like that? That's not good. We're almost out of ammo. Oh no, this is, could go badly. How many? Six out of thirteen. Oh, shit. Almost out. Whoa! How many of you are there? That don't matter. <laughs> hey asshole, we can see you. Oh god, no, give it give me a break. Where's my pistol? Oh my god. Dude! That is not... That is not a... Uh, oh my god. I've now... Um, I've just downclocked my... Um, call clock on my CPU, so we've got it at like a 5.6 now. Um, just because it keeps crashing for me. And that seems to... If I just downclock it from 5.7 to 5.6, it seems fine. And it doesn't crash, so... Not sure what the issue there is. Like I was saying before, I've had this issue in Unreal Engine 5 where it gives me like an out-of-video memory... Oh my god, there's a wire. It gives me an out-of-video memory error when I try and load Unreal Engine 5 games with a 5.7 clock on my 4900k. Um, so, some potentially similar issue in Unreal Engine 4 as well. I haven't really had that issue. I think this is the first Unreal Engine 4 game I've had that crash for me like that. It doesn't give me an error though when it happens in this. It just closes. The game just completely closes. Seemed... Sniper ambush. Oh, God damn it. No, not again. <laughs> Dude, there's so many enemies around here. Oh, God. Please don't shoot me. 
Oh shit! Uh, this could be a problem. Well. Okay, here we go. I'm just being sniped in the head, but. Watch it like that, huh? Shoot at me, you fucking bastard. Let's, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at where, if we put it to 67% uh, render resolution. So this would, uh, can we get it exact? I'm not sure we'll be able to get it exact. I'll, if I put it at 70, can we not do it in between? No. So if I put it at 70%, normally DLSS quality is rendering at about 67%-ish. It's like 66 point something, but, um, so obviously it's the same render scale roughly, but obviously just without the uh, AI imagery upscaling stuff. Just to see roughly how many frames we'd kind of get. Image quality wise, it's going to obviously look worse than if you had a proper upscaler, but it doesn't look too bad having a quick look there. And our frame rate's up over 300 there. I'm pushing even 200 just running around. So it's like a big jump. Yeah, look, we're above 200. On the bike, is it probably it's going to dip down a little bit, probably? When we drive around, is it still going to go under 200? Doesn't seem like it is. There we go, just, just under. My bike is smoking. Did I not fully fix it? I fully fixed it. But yeah, I still obviously get those starters on the bike. I think that's a pro problem regardless. I don't think there's anything you can do to get rid of that. Now we've got a question mark up here. Oh. What's happening? Get off, get off, get off. Does someone need help? Hey, how many drifters you guys today? Are, these, are these enemies? That was not clear, was it? Okay. What the hell? Finally. Oh, they got someone. What the hell? Is Help! You're gonna be okay. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. No, no. Where? We saved him. Where? I'll go. I remember before when I. Uh, where do I want to put him? So if I go to Copeland's, I get whatever that. Other thing is, as well, Peaceful less money, Blake. but Mark Copeland, it's safe there. We get to upgrade the camp, so. I thought I was gonna die in there. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. Right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time.